I get it? The color says, Hey, back off! I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me. These frogs are amazing and all, but what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dark frogs. Wow! 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 Ooh, wow. And they're on the move. Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water. So while the rainforest is a wet environment... A waterfall would be even wetter! You think they're headed to the waterfall? We could follow them and find out. Well, we couldn't be any more lost than we are already. So let's get hopping. These little frogs really stand out in the big jungle. Yes, but so do you. This way or Zaz way? Which way? Which way? I don't know, Nash. Look. Poison dart frogs. Follow the frogs. Follow the frogs. Come on, Polos. <laughs> <laughs> What are those things? I think they're eggs. It looks like this is where poison dart frogs come to lay their eggs. They're so close to the water. The baby frogs, tadpoles? Right. Tadpoles must drop off the leaves and into the water, where they grow up to become poison dart frogs. Cool! Poison dart frogs are amazing! See, Gorby? I told you we'd find the waterfall, and all we needed to do was follow, follow the frogs. The frogs. <sighs> <laughs> Frog up, Frog Frog up. Up. Okay, got it. That doesn't look right. Huh. Nash! Give them a heads up. Right. <gasps> Is that Marco? close. Mock cats! There are a lot of them. Several meerkats can live in one burrow, but the whole group can be as many as 40. Lots of meerkats. Their burrows are connected by underground tunnels. Look! Babies! Right! They all work together to take care of their young and to get food for everyone. You mean 40 breakfasts, 40 lunches, and 40 dinners every day? Yeah, they hunt small rodents, lizards, insects, even poisonous scorpions. But they eat fruit too. Look, they're all standing with their backs to each other around the burrow. They guard their burrows to protect them from predators. Ooh. To keep their babies safe? I think so. And when something comes around, they give each other the heads up to let all the other meerkats know that something is coming. Heads up! Heads up! If you're any kind of friend of mine. Yes! No! Stop! Go! Give a heads up! Give me a sign! If something's coming, coming our way, and I gotta get a message,
so surprised. It's Marco. They must be heading this way. Quick, hide it. What you doing? Nash, since you like bonga bonging so much, we thought you could use... <gasps> Bongos! Bonga bonga bong! Bonga bonga bong! Bang! Bonga bonga! Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow, jellyfish. <gasps> and they're glowing. When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky dolphin! <gasps> Nash, you found it. The glow from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Nash. All right. We got it! Nice, nice, nice work, work, Willow. Dolphin. Here you go, Nash. Good as new. <sighs> Wait! Just a little soggy still. <laughs> of pictures. Okay, I'm done. Seagulls? Oh, this is bad. Seagulls are predators of baby sea turtles. Predators? You mean they want to eat it? But it just hatched. He's helpless. Poor turtle, poor turtle, poor turtle. Poor turtle, poor turtle. Grab it. Put it in the water ourselves. Huh? Nash says he wants us to pick it up and bring it to the sea ourselves. That's a great idea. Yay! Nash, wait! In nature, it's best to let creatures do things by themselves. We should only pick them up if there's no other way to help them. <sighs> Go away, <laughs> If we could scare them off, it could give the turtle time to get back to the water. But what are seagulls scared of? Caterpillars? Thunder? Broccoli? Aha! Uh -huh. Seagulls are afraid of hawks. So we'll make hawk sounds. They sound like... Um... Uh... I don't know about hawks, but your farm animal impressions are great, Gorby. Here's what a hawk sounds like. Good thinking, Nash. We need to be way louder.
harder to scare them. I've got an idea! Audrey, play the hawk sound through the polar boat speakers as loud as you can. Raising volume to maximum. Now would be a perfect time for a picture. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> of the sea turtle, I meant. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Okay, Nash? Mm -mm. I know. I'm upset too. Maybe we can find a way to help. Help, help, Totals! Clean, clean up! Nash is right. We need to do something about this garbage. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's cleanup time. I'll get the polo marine. Malco, go there! Over there? Can do. Lily, that way. That way? I'm on it. Chester, Chester! Come here! Huh? Chester, he's saying, come with me. Aha! Uh -huh, Aha! Uh -huh. Why can everyone understand Nash but me? I don't know. <laughs> a big responsibility And if we work together we can keep our planet clean But the very best way you can help is to pick up after yourself Then let's go be a clean up team Everybody clean up, clean up Everybody clean up, clean up Get your mask on Get your clean on Everybody clean Ocean's a big place, and there's still lots of it to clean up. But we did a great job here. Especially you, Nash. Yeah, we're really proud of you. And Nash, now I hope you understand the importance of cleaning up after yourself. Right. Not only is it bright, it's really hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. The air in its atmosphere traps the heat. Wonder how Chester's doing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's keeping busy. Looky, looky, looky. Yeah, Nash, that's where we live, Earth. It's so beautiful. My personal favorite. Me too. Me three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See you soon, Earth. We're coming up on Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Oh, it's really red. But what's that white stuff? Those are polar ice caps, just like Earth. <laughs> hey, Chester. Oh, uh, hi. Where are you guys now? We're just passing Jupiter. It's so big, it's hard to miss. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Did you know that Jupiter is 1,300 times bigger than Earth? Yeah, huge. 
And it's mostly gas, right? And it has lots of storms, too. There's one that's been going on for over 300 years. Whoa, that's a long time for bad weather. So, Chester, we're making really good time. We'll be there soon. Okay, see you in a bit. Nash, Saturn. Wings, pretty wings. Yeah, it has rings. Cool, aren't they? They're made of millions of ice crystals. Some of them are really teeny tiny, no bigger than a speck of dust. And some of them are enormous, big as a house. I'm dancing like nobody's watching, because nobody's watching. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, bibble, bop, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. Passing planet number seven, Uranus. Rings, rings! Hey, it's got rings too. It's such a weird one. It spins on its side. Not too much farther to Pluto now. Chester must be ready for us to get there. Uh-huh. Yay, Neptune, the last planet in the solar system. It's hot. I wish I'd brought my hat. Here, my hat. You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah, water! Wawa, Wawa! For everybody! Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yep. Let's go. Don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. <gasps> Rhinos! We found them! Boy, they're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh... What's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhino's backs. Seeding bugs! I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called oxpeckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. And the rhinos help the oxpeckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the oxpeckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff. Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, zippers. My stuff. <laughs> Well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack and get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right. Another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to right over there. We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> 